using the top plate there in order to create like an invisible fix on this front. So I didn't want to chuck a screw in the front there. So what I'm going to do is use my top piece here and then I'm going to fix down through there and there. And then I'm also going to fix behind it because that will give this support all the way around and that shouldn't go anywhere. So I'm going to drill my pilot holes and get into that now. So I'm using the same bugles that I've used around the place as like the thing to fix these down. Quite long, super sturdy, and they'll provide quite a bit of structural support for it. Just need to line these up so it looks clean and finished. Now I just need this to finish all nice and flush. There we go, that's gone pretty much spot on. Oh yeah. So I've clearly done that on a bit of an angle. Just chipped out the back of there. It's a shame really. So I'm gonna leave that one that's split in there for now, just as like a bit of support. I'll fix the rest off and then I'll come back and worry about it. So there what's happened is I've clearly drilled on a bit of an angle the pilot hole. So as it's gone down, it's chipped out. So that's how I'm gonna do the rest of them. Might not film it all, I'll just come back once that's all done. I'll have to fix up that M1. Alrighty, so I've got the majority of the top fixed off now. I might chuck a couple more bugles in, depending on how it goes. But this here has locked all of that in, that in. And I'm still gonna keep this piece here so it can slide. Same with that front one, which I'm gonna to connect to the legs there. Uh, the main thing now, I'm probably just gonna lay out my vertical slats and just see roughly how they're gonna fix off. But particularly when it comes to that end here, I want some sort of upright support for that because that's not very strong. And my concern is when I get the other vertical slats on and sit on them, they might snap, but uh, we'll just have to see what happens here. So I'll lay them out and we'll look at it then. So this is roughly how it's gonna look. The place to start from for me is this one's definitely gonna be fixed off there. So I've got two options here. I either like slide them all over a bit and have my end piece as one that's like trimmed down a bit. Potentially I could take a millimeter off of uh, all of the pieces and get another piece on the end, it's another option. Or I can spread the gaps out to clean that up. So I'm gonna spread the gaps a bit and see if that makes a difference. But I would like the gaps to be a bit tighter. So we'll see what we do with that. I'm just gonna play with it a bit. So I've now spread the gaps out a bit better and I think that's just the way I'm gonna do it. Leave a, approximately like a three millimeter gap, but it still looks pretty tidy and I reckon that's gonna be the best course. The other thing I'm gonna do is, just for the sake of how it looks, I'm gonna cut little squares for there and put them on all the end pieces. Pretty happy with this though. This is exactly how I pitched it. These have all been sanded now. I'm taking the edges off the top, just deburred them. And so now I'm just gonna hit them with some stain. I've got all the slats laid out now. And here's my little slider piece. It's gonna lock into there. The part I'm still struggling with is that in there. Just getting these uh, short pieces supported. They're both gonna be cut to that size. I want a little support beam in between, just ending about there, behind that other one, for when that slides up to close. Just so that way when it is all shut, there's something close to the middle supporting it. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut one of these end pieces down so I can use that as a support beam. And then I'm just gonna fix it off so it's done. And I'll build this other little section once that's all fixed off. All right, there we go. Got that other little joiner support piece ready now. So I'm gonna start setting these out and I'll stick down all the ones that are going to be sliding. 
So I've measured the distance, worked out how much I need to catch the bee. I've gone out and bought a series of packers that coincide with that, in this case 3.2. So what I'm gonna be doing just to keep my gaps even is using these packers before I screw it off on both sides. And that should mean that when you look at the whole thing, you're not gonna see any big jumps between spacing. All right, I'm gonna have a look at pulling it out for the first time to just see A, how it's gonna look and if it's actually structurally sound as of right now. All right, there we go. That's pretty cool. So it does slide, not like insanely well, but I'm sure it will loosen up over time. Yeah, that's perfect, man. That's exactly how I wanted it. So I'm pretty happy with uh, this point so far. Last thing to work out is just this little corner here, for which I think the best move is gonna be to build a little support that runs lengthways across that. Have a piece joining there to there, and that's what slides on both of those supports. Freeing up this little piece to slide out the rest of them. So that's my next thing to work out, and I'll probably come back and film once I've figured out what I'm doing there. Alrighty, so now we have my bed frame officially done. So I've worked out the slide mechanism for this part here, fix that down and that closes off the entire space. It still leaves my little gap here for storing something. And just like that, got the drawer handle on and the bed frame is all together. So, it's a pretty nice little milestone to hit. So what's next is, gonna make little squares for these sections here. So that way when it's closed, um, it just tidies it up a bit. I've gotta build like a little lid that's supported there so I can utilize this space as well. But come a long way, which is really exciting. It's almost to the point where I can just whack some curtains up and go camping, so it's a really cool spot to be in. Pretty stoked.